Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hi, Alina. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Thank you. And you? I'm excellent. Teacher. Did you, you finish the school project? Yes, ya se lo mandé por Classroom los dos. Okay, okay. Pero tenías una, un trabajo de, de la escuela, ¿no? Es que tenía Hola. que ir a handball. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sports. Yes. Excellent. Hello, Evelyn. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Excellent. I'm great. Thank you for asking. Hello, teacher. Hi, Emiliano. How are you, mister? Happy. And you, teacher? I'm very happy, too. Are you ready for your class? Ready, teacher. Perfect. Hi, Jesus. Good afternoon, mister. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Mm. I'm hot. It's very hot in Hermosillo right now. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I am okay. Thank you for asking. Hi, Paulette. Hey, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I am good. <coughs> Ready for your class, bullet? Yes. Perfect. Mm. Hello, Camila. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Hi, Kevin. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? I am great. I'm ready for my class. Are you ready for your class? Yes. October 14? 19. 19, not 14. Oh my God. 19. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Abril. Good afternoon. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. I'm good. Two more minutes. Hi, Jimena. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you today? Good, thank you, and you? I'm great, thank you for asking. Okay, ready. 
Let's do it. Open your cameras, please, guys. I want to see your cameras. Please, please. Thank you, Alina. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Paulette. Thank you, Camila. Nice hair, Camila. Thank you. <laughs> Abril, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, let's continue, guys, from the class from yesterday. We are going to continue today, right? Um, we practiced yesterday. Well, not yesterday. Maybe yesterday was Wednesday, right? Maybe on Monday. I don't remember. But we practiced simple present in their positive sentences. For example, she works in the mornings, right? We, we practice with this example. She works in the mornings, right? And we understand that we need to conjugate for positives, right? If, if it's what persons? You conjugate she, for, uh-huh, tell me. Yep. She, she, he, and it. Thank you. He, she, and it, right? Only. But we also say the note. Um, conjugation, no auxiliaries, right? Conjugation on the verb, no, one second. The door, I, wait, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's continue. I'm sorry. We said um, simple present positive, we conjugate. And we understand that if we conjugate, no auxiliary. We understand that, right? What happens in the negative sentences? We practiced this yesterday. Remember, don't and doesn't. She doesn't work in the morning. She doesn't work in the morning. Right? Now, that note changes. What is the note in there? Hmm? I have auxiliary. We have auxiliary. We have auxiliary. But... But what? We don't conjugate. conjugate. We don't conjugate. Thank you. We don't conjugate. Hi, okay. teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jaisa. How are you? I am good. And you? I am good, too. Thank you. Angie, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Great. Regina, welcome to the class, too. How are you today? Hi, Mr. Good. Excellent. All right. So, guys, that's what we practice, right? Doesn't work. No conjugation, but yes, auxiliary. So, today, we are going to do a combo, okay? We're going to do a combo of a positive sentence, but a negative sentence. And we are going to use a connector, okay? Maybe this is a new element for you. So let's do this. For example, you're going to have one idea. Idea number one. Number one idea. And then you're going to have a connector. And then you're going to have idea number two. 
idea number two. Okay, so what we can do in here is idea number one, it's possible to be in negative, in positive, I'm sorry, or it can be in, pos in negative too. Sorry, one more time. Idea number one can be in positive and can be in negative, right? And then we're going to have the connector we're going to have the connector, but, which is a contradictory connector. Okay? Con contradictory. So we can, uh, we can say something like this, for example. Um, I would say, my mom, I don't know what is the problem. My mom, um, cooks, my mom cooks um, on Saturdays, right? My mo like a cow, I'm sorry. <laughs> my cow, right? My mom, I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> my mom cooks on Saturdays. We understand that, right? Now, it's positive or negative? Positive. 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 So we're going to have a positive. So we need to contradictory with a negative. Okay? My mom cooks on Saturday, but what is the negative? She, but she what? But she, she doesn't cook, cook. on Saturday. Maybe on Sundays we can change it. Make sense? So we are combining. We are combining ideas with what? With a connector. Okay? So now if you have, for example, I'm going to move this one. Okay, I'm going to move it over here. If I have a... Um, yeah, 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 whatever. Number, um, for example, my cell phone doesn't take pictures. We have a negative, correct? We need to contradict it with what? With a positive or a negative? Negative. negative. With an... No, no, no positive. We, positive because we have a negative. So the contradiction is going to be positive. My cell phone doesn't take pictures, but it records. I'm going to put the S because it's it. Okay. My cell phone doesn't take pictures, but it records videos. We understand? Okay. Yes. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's do the exercises. Um, This one, guys, okay? For example, here. Number one. Mm, what page is this? What page? Oh, yeah. What page is it? Let me check. Nine? Nine? Uh-huh. Number nine. This one. You have it. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. All right. So you're going to write in here number one. Okay. Let's go with number one. Look at the picture. This is the example. Number one. This is verb number one. Verb number two. Positive. Negative. Sophia sings very well. Is positive. She sings, right? But here's that connector. But she doesn't cook. All right. Teacher. Yes. Lo tenemos que escribir. Uh huh. And this um. In here, for example, the idea is that you do contradictions. What is the sentence? Sophia, what? 
Sofia. What is the sentence? The example. Did you copy the example? No. No, did you? Yes. Uh, yes, Camila, can you tell me the yes. example? Sonia sings very well, but she doesn't cook. So Sonia sings very well, but here's the contradiction, but she doesn't cook. All right? Something like that. So we can do the, the contractions, right, Alina? Yes. All right. So let's go with number two. This one is for you, Alina. Okay? Can you help me? Yes. Um, she swims very good, but she doesn't dive. She doesn't dive. Do you know what is dive? Look at the picture. Boom, in the pool, right? What yes. is that? In the in what is that in Spanish? Clavado. Clavado, yeah. Um, sería como el verbo de hacer clavados, right? Pero en español no dices um, clavar is different, so echarse clavados. Okie dokie. Very good, Alina. So you got positive with negative. Perfect. Bolet, ready? You know what is important? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's important that you circle the connector. Circle it in the sentences, please. Okay. Bolet, number three is for you. Crawl. Like a baby, gatear, all right? Yes. He crawls. Mm. He crawls. Give me a it's little bit of compliment. Uh, and slow? Slowly, yes. She grows slow. Slowly, porque es un adverbio. Después lo, lo platicamos eso. He crawls slowly, lentamente, Polet. But, but here's your connector. But he doesn't. She doesn't walk. He doesn't walk. Eliminate the L of the pronunciation, Paulette. Walk. Like this. Walk. All right? Perfect. This is perfect. Ready, Camila, for your sentence? Yes. Number four. We're talking about um, pop music and rock music. You have love and like. Okay. Um, she, um, she likes pop music, but she doesn't like rock. But she doesn't like rock. Perfect. Right? She likes, doesn't like. Hey, Paul is not here. Where is Paul? Hmm. I remember Paul. All right. Jesus, Abril, I'm sorry. Ready, Abril? Ready, ready? Yes. Sir. Number five is for you. He likes to sleep, but 
he doesn't like to do laundry. Okay. He likes to clean. This is interesting. But he doesn't like to do laundry. Look what very good example, Abril. Likes to clean. Look at this one. All right. We have a verb. Oh, sorry. We have a verb, number one, verb number two, and the connector two for the verbs. Okay, good. Ready, Jesus? Yes. Number six is for you, mister. Uh, he writes very well, uh, but, but he doesn't read. But he doesn't read. But he doesn't read. Perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Let's um let's work on the pronunciation of this. Oh, sorry. This one is going to sound like an ah, but, but, but. You know, something like this. He writes very well, but he doesn't read. It's with ah, okay? With ah, ah, ah. Yes. Yeah. All right, Emiliano, number seven is for you. You have drink and drink because you have beer and tequila. All right. ¿Sabes, Emiliano? No. No. Who sure. wants to help um, Emiliano? Can you help Emiliano? Me, mm, teacher, Kevin. Kevin. Mm -hmm. mm, a verb. Mm, it, it podría ser it or beer. It can be beer. Okay, uh, the beer mm, is... Oh, sorry, Kevin, but your subject, it's a person. Like, it's for example, he or my father, my brother, you know? Uh, yes, mm, my uncle mm, mm -hmm. drink a beer. Okay. Yes, we, conjugate, we conjugate this one? A drink, drinks. Yes, because my uncle, my uncle is equal he. Beer. Yeah. Mm, but, but he doesn't tequila. But he doesn't what? The verb. Mm. He doesn't. She doesn't drink tequila. Tequila. There you go. My uncle drinks beer, but he doesn't drink tequila. You got it, Emiliano. All right. Evelyn, number eight, ready? Evelyn is not here. Maybe Jimena, are you here? Maybe not. Regina, are you here? Yes, mister. Ah, uh, mister, voy a poner rápido la seis. Me faltó lo último. Number six, yes. Yes, mister, gracias. Uh -huh. Sorry about my noise of the ice. Number seven. Regina, number eight is for you. Mm. Tiene que ser de Hichi. Or eat? Um, nah, not necessarily, actually, no. Okay. Uh, 
Bueno, sí. Sí. Eh, Waltz. Wax. Uh -huh. In the morning. Oh, it will have to be in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. But. But. She doesn't. But she doesn't. Drive. Drive. She works in the morning, but she doesn't drive. I think that's good, right? Sí, sí. yes. Yeah, because the other one will have to be repetition, something like she works in the morning, but she doesn't drive in the morning, right? So, okay. Le iba a decir de que, que ella manejaba en la tarde, pero no me acordaba que le tenía que poner negativo en algo mm -hmm. después del bat. Okay, for example, in that case, the connector, she walks in the morning. And if you if you want another positive, because this one is positive, if you want another positive, you can connect with N. For example, she walks in the morning and she what? She drives in the afternoons. Something like that. Yes. Okay. So the connector will be different only. Jaisa, are you ready? Yes. Number nine is for you, miss. Mm. So, so he. He goes to the gym. Excellent. And after, take a shower. Takes. Okay, let's connect it with end, right? And after, um, takes a shower. a shower. Maybe in here, um, Jaisa, we need the, the subject. He goes to the gym and after, he takes a shower. Okie doke. Who is Angie? Ready, Angie? Yes. Number uh, 10 is number 10. Yes. Um, she do only shopping. Mm -hmm. but, Online shopping. But. But. She go to the supermarket. She doesn't go to the okay. supermarket. Okay. She doesn't go to the supermarket. <coughs> um, what happens here, Angie? Is she? Oh, is. What's the conjugation for do? Can you help, I, guys? Oh, can me tell me, Angie? I don't remember the word. You, okay, don't worry. You remember, guys? Mm, does. Does. Very good, Jesus. Does. She does online shopping, but she doesn't go to the supermarket. For example, ¿Cómo traducen do online shopping? What is the translation to Spanish? Hacer compras en línea. Yeah, hacer compras en línea. O comprar en línea. Very good. Okay. Um, Jimena, are you here? <clears throat> no. Evelyn, no. All right, this is Jimena. This was Evelyn. Thirteen, Alina, we come back to you. Can you help me? Yes. Um she drinks tea. 
-hmm. But um, but she doesn't drink coffee. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. She drinks tea, but she doesn't drink coffee. There you go. Okay. Negative. Doesn't Teacher. Yes, Kevin. Uh, en la oración solo tiene que ir he and she. For example, what you can do. Uh, oh, you mean if it's possible, we, for example? Yes, we eat they. Yeah, we can use. We drink, in that case, we don't conjugate, right? But we drink tea, but we what? We does. But the auxiliary is different for we. What is the auxiliary for we? Does. No. Auxiliary for we, guys? Hmm. Don't. Yes, don't. Right? So it's possible for all the persons, okay? Mm, yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. 14, Paulette, please. Almost finished. Maybe the verb have, right, Paulette? Yes. Maybe. She has a cat, but, but she but. doesn't have a dog. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a dog. You have one mistake, Paulette. She doesn't have a dog. You have this mistake. What's the conjugation of have for she? Does. Huh? Does. Has, yeah, has. So positive, she has a cat, but she doesn't have a dog. All right, Camila, to finish. 15 15 what verb maybe she? swim yeah it's possible um, she likes the ocean okay he likes the ocean no she loves she mm. loves the ocean. Um, and she and she doesn't like the pool. The pool. Pay attention to the connector. Because you have a positive and a negative. And you told me and. But. Yep. Pronunciation with a, okay? But. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All right. Finish copying? Yes. Do you have questions, guys? Angie, do you have questions? No, um, it's okay. It's okay. Jaisa, are you okay? Paulette, yeah. are you? Yeah. Paulette, no questions? No. Jesus, no questions? Thank you, Paulette. No, Jesus, no, no. questions. All right. I'm going to, this is going to be homework. Esta me la pueden entregar el día, hasta el día domingo, ¿ok? Domingo, hasta. 
right? Um, I'm going to put this video in YouTube. Okay? You're going to listen. You're going to listen to 12 sentences similar to this, like, for example. Um, I like sushi, but I don't like burgers. Okay? So you need to listen the sentence and write it down. Okay? Remember the exercise from yesterday, I think, when you circle? Yeah? Okay. This time, you don't circle. You write the sentence, the complete sentence, okay? Um, pueden pausar el video, pueden repetirlo las veces que sea. El objetivo es que capten. Okie dokie, guys. All right. Teacher. So this, yes, Salina. Lo va a mandar al grupo de Teams. Sí, al grupo de los papás. ¿O, yes. quieren que se lo suba, ¿O quieren que se lo suba Classwork más rápido? ¿Qué es más? ¿Qué es mejor? Classroom. Classroom, ok. Yes. Entonces really? lo subo, lo subo a Classroom mejor, ahí les, ahí les posteo el video, ¿ok? Ok, right. thank you. And, yes. sorry, sorry guys, but this is homework part one, ¿ok? We come back over here in page number nine, which is this one, ¿ok? This is extra practice for simple present. You remember the exercise of conjugating with S, for example, accepts rule number one. Remember that exercise? Okay. Yes. yes. Perfect. So this is part number two of the homework, okay? All right. And that's it. No more homework. This one, um, this one is maybe extra credit si quieren créditos extra por ejemplo Emiliano que no está aquí mm. um, ustedes saben si necesitan calificación extra extra credit ok, you can do this one it's not obligatory it's extra, ok so that's it let's continue then with the class now more homework this one okay so now we're gonna do questions guys all right we have positives we have negatives we're gonna go with questions now all right so for that we're gonna do this positive sentence she likes um the hot weather what is the negative guys she doesn't like the hot weather. She doesn't like the hot weather. Right. And then the question is auxiliary. If I put she in here, what is my auxiliary? For she. Doesn't. Yeah, but it can be positive or negative, right? What is, is the positive is. auxiliary? No. Does. Does, right? Ahora, ¿por qué no is, como dice Kevin? Because we are going to use a different verb than the verb to be, right? So, does she what? What is the question? She likes hot weather. She doesn't like hot weather. Well, does she? Like hot weather. Does she like the hot weather? Now, I have a question. Do I need to conjugate that one? Likes. 
but it's necessary to conjugate it or no? No. Why not, Alina? It's correct, but why not? Mm, no. Because we have auxiliary. Yep, because we have auxiliary. So remember, auxiliary, no conjugation. Okay? All right. Let's do the information. Jesus, can you help me, mister? All this, please. So, yo, es que mi internet estaba mal y no me dejaba escucharlo, ni me dejaba meterme a la clase. Oh. Me puso Pero... Lista, me decía que estaba en sala de espera y que no había empezado. ¿En serio? Sí, me ¿Qué? ¿Really? La clase. Mm. Pero ya escuchas bien. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's pay attention because this is um, important, okay? All right. Jesus, can you help me to read? Uh, use those with he, she, it, and singular objects. Uh, she works for the coffee place. She doesn't work for the coffee place. Does she work for the coffee place? She, yes, she does. No, she does. Very good. So this is like a circle, right? Positive. We continue with the circle. Negative. We continue with the circle. Question. We continue with the question. In that case, it can be a positive answer or it can be a negative answer. You see, it's like a circle. Everything is connected. We understand, Jaisa, or it's too difficult? I understand. Excellent. All right. Ready for the next one? Ready, Kevin? Yes, teacher. All right. Here we go. Number two. It's, it's, it's the same, but the auxiliary is going to be do now. Do. Can you help me, Jimena, to read, please? Use to with I, you, we, they, and plural subjects. They study, they study in the mornings. They don't study in the mornings. Negative. Uh -huh. do, do they study in the morning? Good question. Answer, positive answer. Yes, they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. So basically, for example, if I say I do, what's the question? What is the question? The beginning of the question. Do I? Do I? Do I? Uh -huh. Do I? That's the question. If I say you do, do you? That's the question. Do you? Do you have money? Do you have money? All right. If I say um, he does, right? What is the question? Does he? Does he? Does he? Does he like burgers? You understand? Does he like burgers? Mm -hmm. If I say uh, she does, the question is going to be does she? Right? And for it, it does. Mm 
Does it? Does it? Does it? For we guys, what is the auxiliary? Do. We do. Question. Do we? Do we? And they do. It's going to be. Oh, sorry. Not they boo. They do. They do. Do they? Yep. All right. Let's go with the practice. Um. A ver, aquí quiero explicarles algo muy importante. Do you know this word or is new for you? Trigger. New. New? It's new. It's new. Okay. Trigger is going to be a disparador. You know the gun? Would you do this? You know? You know what I mean? Yes, Jesus. You understand el, the trigger? El gatillo. El gatillo, right? Disparador. Now, cuando estamos eh, en, en inglés, es muy importante entender qué son los disparadores. All right? ¿Qué son los disparadores? Los disparadores van a causar una reacción. ¿Ok? Un disparador va a causar una reacción. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, I would say, Jaisa, do you, do you like Pizza. Yeah, Isa. Do you like pizza? Yes, I like pizza. Yes, I like pizza. Okay, so Jaisa said, Jaisa said, yes, I like pizza. Okay, this one is a correct answer. Okay, it's correct, but this one is a long answer. Right? Now, if you listen, do you, do you, do you, ahí está el disparador. Es decir, que cuando ustedes escuchen do, right, se necesita disparar algo en su cerebro que va a responder con qué. ¿Con qué responden? Un do mm. you like pizza? Yes, I do. Ok, que sería correcto, yes, I like pizza. Pero si nos vamos a una short answer, in this case, it has to be, yes, I do. Right? Y aquí está tu disparador. Right? Let's practice. For example, Alina. Alina, do you live in Mexico City? Do you live in Mexico City? Y si no vivo, aún así digo. Ahí tendría que ser negativa tu respuesta. So, no, I, I don't. don't. Exactly. One more time, Alina. Alina, do you like soccer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Paulette, do you, do you enjoy the rain, Paulette? Do you enjoy the rain? Teacher, can you repeat? Yes. Do you enjoy the rain? For example, raining. Do you enjoy the rain? La lluvia? No, I don't. No, no I don't, right? Because... Tu disparador sería do, 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 do. What happens if you go, if you go like this? Um, does she, 
live in the city? What is the trigger? Does. Does, right? So if you have does, you answer with does. Does she live in the city? Yes, she does. Ok. ¿Por qué les explico esto? Porque en un futuro vamos a trabajar con pasado. Por ejemplo, did she live in the city? Que sería pasado. Ella vivió en la ciudad. And then, ¿cuál es tu disparador aquí? Did. Did. did exactly. So you answer we did. It, yes, she did. Ok. Entonces, Listen to this. In the question is the answer. In the question is the answer. We understand that? Yep. All right. Yes. Let's do the practice. We have 10 minutes. Maybe we can do it. Exercise number one. Very fast. Can you help me, please, Yaisa, with the instructions? Yes, um, the negative, shh, no. complete the sentences using the negative form of the underlying verb. Example, Patricia, Patricia has a nice pencil. Does Patricia have a nice pencil? Very good. Now, my friends love horror movies. What is the question? It's my friends, okay? It's equal day. What is the auxiliary for day? Mm -hmm. Do. Do. My friends. my friends. Do my friends what? Love horror movies. Do my friends love horror movies? That's the question. What are the possible answers? What's the possible? No, what's the positive answer? Mm, yes, I do. But what is the uh, what is the subject, Kevin? They. Yes, they. Auxiliary. Yes, they. Do. Yes, do. they do. A negative. No. They don't. They don't. 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 Uh -huh. No, they don't. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. For example, we're going to do six. Regina, can you help me with one, please? My sisters, my sister work in the new school. What's the question? Um, la respondo o hago la pregunta? Do the question, uh huh. Um, Think about the subject. What is the subject? My sister. My sister. It's equal. Is. What subject? No. My sister is equal she. Right? Okay. The auxiliary for she? Is. No. Auxiliary, auxiliary for she? De como. Auxiliar de otros verbos, no? ¿Qué es lo que hemos hablado? Eh, where is it? This one's. Does or do, right? Do they? ¿Sí? A ver, ¿les está quedando claro? ¿O no? A lo mejor me estoy explicando mal. Dad. Jesús. Claro. Claro. ¿Quién está claro? 
Camila, Jaisa, okay. Jesus, Kevin. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, come in with Regina, okay, Regina? Okay. So, my sister, right? My sister. Es que aquí creo que lo importante es entender que va... ¿Cuándo van a usar el auxiliar do y dos? ¿Con qué verbos? ¿Pueden usar is con el does? No. 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 Oh, ok. No, no, no. Ok. Aquí queda el verbo to be, which is am, is, and are. Very simple sentences, right? She is a doctor. Negative, she isn't a doctor. Question? Is she a doctor? Is she a doctor? Positive answer? Yes, yes she is. is. Yes, she is. Very good. Negative answer. No, she isn't. Correct? Okay. This is the verb to be. It's a different universe. Okay. I'm going to say different universe. If you talk about other verbs. And when I talk about other verbs, it's go, stay clean, right? Eat, whatever. Y aquí, what do we need to do negatives and questions? Hmm? Nadie, nadie? Uh oh right okay let's do the example go she goes to the gym what's the negative she doesn't go to the gym she doesn't go to the gym. She doesn't go to the gym. And the question? Does she go to the gym? Does she go to the gym? Aquí, okay. Si pueden ver la diferencia cuando usan el verbo to be. El verbo to be es como si cosieran arroz en una olla y o los otros verbos es como si cocieran frijoles ¿sí? no los pueden mezclar impossible ok alright los dejo ir, los veo el lunes creo que no está quedando bien el tema claro, me preocupa porque llevamos ya una semana con este tema nos vemos el lunes ok, si pueden echarle una revisada al tema por favor Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.